Hello everyone, my name is Holden Hardman. Thank you so much for joining us again for another video. Continuing on some of the animation kick we've been on, I really wanted to show Jen the Emperor's New Groove. This one did not do very well when it initially came out, but it has since gained quite a cult following. Very briefly, I just put up the image because we're watching this on Disney Plus where it shows their pictures in the description. And the description says, a selfish emperor learns a lesson in humility when he has turned into a llama. And I saw Jen's face in real time read that description. She was like, so I cannot wait to get into it, especially with that as the first impression to this movie. Jen, how are you feeling going into The Emperor's New Groove? Actually, I didn't even read the description. I just saw the thumbnail image. Very confused because it's two large men, a llama, and then what looks like a Cruella de Vil type S character. Definitely breaking the mold, I feel like, as far as like, I don't know, a Disney movie. I'm excited about that because that means it's probably gonna be different than some of the movies that we've been watching. And that's always a good time. I love llamas. I've heard of it in title only. Really excited to check it out. Um, I feel like we've been watching some really good Disney movies and I just wanna keep rolling on with that. This movie did have a bit of a production hell. A lot of people were disagreeing. People were leaving the project, coming on to the project like halfway through or whatever. It's a very quotable movie. It's a very memorable movie and I can't wait for you to see it. But before we get into it, we can't forget the comment of the day. Today's comment of the day says, Jen's lack of animated film experience has been greatly changed over the last few months. Loving the choices. And it seems that Jen is more of a fan of animation film than she may have originally thought. What do you think about that? I mean, that's probably appropriate, but there has been some animated films that I didn't like. I mean, I really did not care for A Bug's Life. Yes, that's probably true. I don't know. We haven't covered all the animated films, so I'm sure there's some animated film out there that I probably am not a fan of. Yeah, well, somebody else pointed out that the movies that you rate higher have been tending to be more animated films. I mean, a lot of them have animals, though. Oh, okay. So, <laughs> I, I'm just saying, I'm admitting that I'm an animal lover, and if you throw an animal in a movie, I'm probably gonna like it. So, can you blame me? All right, well, with that, let's go ahead and get started. The Emperor's New Groove. Wait, do many animals die in this? I don't think I can take another one. Uh, no, you'll be, you'll see. I believe this, but that llama you're looking at was once a human being. Oh, I know that voice. David Spade. This is his story. That's right. I'm that llama. I was the world's nicest guy and they ruined my life for no reason. Tell you what, you go back a ways and this will all make sense. That's a little too far back. I actually forget this is Disney sometimes. This feels more of like a DreamWorks. Wait, so he was human and now he's a llama? Yeah. They'll go through it. This, not this. Winner, loser. I'm sorry, but you've thrown off the Emperor's groove. Jesus! <laughs> you were saying? Trot out the ladies. Let me guess, you have Jeez. a great personality. Is this really the best you could do? <laughs> He's like the thing that wouldn't shut up. Anyway. Gosh. I'm here to see Emperor Kuzco. You see, I got this just- Is that John Goodman? It is. Oh, uh, oh hey, are you all right? I, what happened? I threw off the Emperor's groove. I threw it off, and the Emperor had me thrown out the window. <gasps> oh. oh, beware the groove. Hey. Beware the groove. <laughs> Check out this I mean, piece of work, Yzma, living proof that dinosaurs once roamed the Earth. And let's not forget Kronk. <laughs> yep, that's Kronk. Bad habit of trying to run the country behind my back. What was it again? Um. Food. <laughs> really should have thought of that before you became peasants. What? <laughs> Take him away. Ah! Hi there. Ooh, your highness. Uh, you're the emperor's advisor. Remember that? Uh, but your highness, I... What is holding this woman together? How long has that been there? By the way, you're fired. Fired? He's in my chair. Oh, he's missing your chair, right? Very good, Kronk. Ah. I'm here because I received a summons to- Hey, there he is. That's right, you are just the man I wanted to see. I am? Are you aware of just how important your village is to the Empire? My village? My family has lived on that hilltop for the last six generations. Uh-huh. 
When the sun hits that ridge just right... I just needed an insider's opinion before I okayed this spot for my pool. Booyah! Welcome to Cusco-topia. What? Isn't it great? It's my birthday gift to me. At my birthday celebration tomorrow, your town will be destroyed to make way for this. Where will we live? Don't know, don't care. How's that? Oh, gosh. Oh, but wait, you can't... Bye-bye. Oh, uh, wait. No. <laughs> Boo-hoo. Who does that ungrateful little worm think he is? Do you recognize her voice? It's uh, Eartha Kitt, mm. Madame Zeroni. Better you're taking that ranker in these things instead of the real Cusco, huh? <gasps> I'll take over and rule the Empire. How does that work with you being fired and all? To the secret lab! Oh, that was so much fun. How shall I do it? How shall I do it? I know. To save on postage, I'll just poison him with this. <laughs> to save on postage? Is everything ready for tonight? Start off with soup and a light salad. Not the dinner. <laughs> the poison. The poison for Cusco. The poison chosen specially to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. That poison? Yes, that poison. Dead before dessert. Which is a real shame, because it's going to be delicious. Boom, bam, baby. No hard feelings about being let go. None whatsoever. Get the emperor a drink. Right. <laughs> 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 Your highness. So, he seems nice. The emperor needs his drink. <laughs> right. Everything okay back there? <laughs> the drinks were a bit on the uh, warm side. <laughs> Long live Cusco! Don't drink the water. <sighs> Get rid of the body. Okay, <gasps> what were we saying? So, what are you gonna do? I mean, you've been around here a long time, and, um... <laughs> and it might... <laughs> find new work. <laughs> that's... That's mean that in the best possible way. <laughs> This isn't poison. <laughs> you know, in my defense, your poisons all look alike, you. <laughs> How about dessert? Well, I, I like Kronk. Yeah, he's funny. My type of thinking. Still think I'm not the victim here? Watch. It gets better. He's doing his own theme music. Big, dumb, and tone deaf. Mission accomplished. <laughs> my shoulder angel. Don't listen to that guy. <laughs> come off it. You come off it. You. You. Says he's stringy music thing. Look what I can do. <laughs> what does that have to do with him? No, no. He's got a point. Listen, you guys. <laughs> what am I going to tell the village? No! <laughs> that noble George! Oh! <laughs> I hope that doesn't come back to haunt me. Today. Oh, is mom baking again? Don't tell her I said that. I heard that. <laughs> okay, okay, you two. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> what did the emperor want? <clears throat> well, that's just rude. Well, he is the emperor. <gasps> just. Uh, <sighs> I gotta go wash some. <laughs> I gotta go wash something. Excuse me, two seconds here. Um, this story's about me, not him. Where did you come from? No touchy. <laughs> uh, demon llama! <laughs> Ow! Uh, Take it easy. You're that whiny peasant. <gasps> Emperor Cusco? Yeah. You don't look like the Emperor. What is this? Some kind of little game you country folk like to <laughs> yeah. Ah! My face! Good! Llama face! What happened? <laughs> I remember telling you that I was building my pool where your house was. You turned me into a llama! You kidnapped me! Why would I kidnap a llama? I have no idea. You're the criminal mastermind. Yzma's got that secret lab. Snap my fingers and order her to change me back. Build your summer house somewhere else. You want to run that by me again? I don't make deals with peasants! I guess I can't take you back. Fine. I'm not listening. La, I'm not kidding. La, la, Listen, la, la, you cannot go in there. La, la. Fine. There's no Cusco. There's no Cusco Topia. Takes care of my problem. Hmm. Scary jungle, right? Waiting for Tarzan to pop out. <laughs> uh oh. <gasps> 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 <laughs> what do you?
do you want? I don't know what to say. <laughs> Hit the road, Bucky. <laughs> Ow! Oh boy. No, 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 no. Uh, no, don't. Ha! <laughs> Uh. <laughs> this, to me, might be considered kind of a step backward. Don't tell me. We're about to go over a huge waterfall. <laughs> Bring it on. All right. Ah! You're forcing an entire village out of their homes just for you. And that's bad. <laughs> well, yeah! You're the only one that doesn't seem to be with the program. Someday you're gonna wind up all alone. Thanks for that, I'll log that away. Now for the final... <laughs> <laughs> Unless you change your mind, I'm not taking you back. Unless you change your mind, I'm not taking you back. <laughs> Never gonna change. Oh, boy. <laughs> Taken from us so tragically <laughs> on the very eve of his 18th birthday. Ain't getting any deader. Back to work. That shit is a scary ah, face. Darling. <laughs> Cusco is dead, right? He's still alive! Well, it's not as dead as we would have hoped. Ah, look out! Tied to a log and was careening out of control down a raging rhythm of death. All right. <laughs> it was awful. It's okay, it's okay. Sure. People, he just went back to see the emperor. Like you told him to, because you're always right. That's right. <laughs> Good night. Thanks. No, oh, my wife made it. Oh, she knits? Crochets. Crochets. <laughs> I mean, there's lots of hilltops, and maybe I might, you know... You've changed your mind? Oh, well... Because you know that means you're doing something nice. And you're all right with that? Yes. Thanks. Is he lying? No. Thank you. Stinking llama. Whoa! Cusco! Oh, no! No, I don't think I will. It's gonna have you in prison for life. <gasps> I kinda like this better. So all of it was a lie? Well, yeah. <gasps> That's terrible. Yeah, it's pretty awful. The funny thing about shaking hands is, you need hands. <laughs> okay. I think I'm all right. Good! <laughs> no touching! <laughs> I was always taught that there was some good in everyone. Oh, boo-hoo. Now I feel really bad. Oh, he is terrible. Oh, he's awful. <laughs> oh, great. <laughs> Ready? Go. <laughs> Ow! Look, we're moving. Don't ah! move down. Now, what? Genius. You know, it's a good thing you're not a big fat. <laughs> <laughs> Take your time. No hurry here. <laughs> oh, no. Uh, uh. This is your type of lock. I know, it really is. Oh, that's an interesting way to get them back on solid ground. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh -huh. You uh -huh. just uh -huh. saved my life. There is some good in you after all. I know. Admit mm. it. Could have let me fall. Come on, what's the big deal? Nobody's that heartless. <laughs> <laughs> Don't read too much into it. You're still taking me back? I shook on it, didn't I? Well, still building Cusco Topia when I get back. Maybe you'll change your mind. Uh huh. Cronk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look. A golden started ah! small and warm. <laughs> I'm loving this. <laughs> Good day for them. Get away from me! Not you. She's not the easiest person to get close to. There's a wall there. <laughs> Trust me. The guys had it rough. Seems the talking llama gave him a hard time the other day. Squeaky, uh, squeak, squeaker, squeaking. <laughs> Squeakity squeak. Squeaking. <laughs> 
Oh, there's just like a restaurant? Yeah. <laughs> we'll have two specials. We're on our honeymoon. Bless you for coming out in public. <laughs> Ew. Oh boy. <sighs> Bag. Just gonna slip into the kitchen and have a word with the chef. <laughs> oh my gosh! You'd have done away with Cusco myself when I had the chance. Hey, don't I know you? Oh, I don't think so. Interpretive dance, two semesters. I was usually in the back because of my weak ankles. Come on. <laughs> hey, I didn't ask him about dessert yet. Try and I try. There's just on. no respect for anyone with vision. You got all that, honey? Play a hot air, basket of grandma's breakfast, and change the bowl to a gill. Got it. What's going on? What's taking so long? Oh, jeez. Make my omelet a meat pie. Meat pie, check. Crunk. Second thought, make, make my, my potatoes, potatoes a salad. salad. <laughs> One, two, three, four! Happy, happy birthday! <laughs> 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 it's your birthday! <laughs> Crunk. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to kill you. Kill me? Their whole world revolves around me. All you care about is your your stupid hilltop. If you hadn't mixed up those poisons, Cusco would be dead now. There'd be no more diversion. The Empire will finally be rid of that useless slug. Well, you got a point. I didn't do anything, and they ruined my life and took everything I had. Hey, give it a rest up there, will you? They know what happened. Well, yeah, but, but... leave me alone. Hmm. Got like a teddy bear and PJs and everything. <laughs> it's a little tent, do you see? It's the slippers for me. <gasps> the peasant at the diner. He didn't pay his check. <gasps> it's the peasant who I saw leaving the city who disappeared into the crowd with Cusco and Zal coming together. <laughs> oh! This had better be good. Do you believe that? He's a lousy llama. A really lousy llama. What I said to you, that, I, I, I didn't really... You tired of being a llama? <laughs> yes! Oh, you just missed your relatives. My relatives? Yeah, we just sent them up to your house. How would you describe her? Eh, uh, scary beyond all reason. Yeah, that's it. Scary beyond all reason. 99 monkeys! <laughs> 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 Allow me. <laughs> pregnant, trying to grab it. He's hiding something. When I give the word, mm -hmm. we search the house. While we're waiting for Paka. Pacha. Paka. I think I left something in the oven. Hi there. <laughs> <laughs> you have a lovely wife. They're both very pretty. Great. Hey, was it a good idea to leave your family with those two? Try jiggling the handle. There is no handle. <laughs> Tell us where the talking llama is, and we'll burn your house to the ground. Don't you mean or? <sighs> <laughs> Break it down, would you? Kidding me? This is Anne Carved Mahogany. I don't care, you fool. <laughs> <laughs> like how they're getting like further than she is. Go! <laughs> Let's not wait until the next family reunion to get together. Oh boy. <laughs> okay, why does she even have that lever? <laughs> Lions, tigers, bears. Oh my. Looking for this? How did you get back here before us? Uh, she looks like a skinnier version of Ursula. No, it doesn't make sense. Mm. Oh well. Do you really want to kill me? Just think of it as you're being let go. Hey, that's kind of like what he said to you. Cruel irony, like my dependence on you. I can't believe this is happening. <laughs> no! <gasps> no! Ha! Uh, oh, oh finish them. <laughs> What I miss. Well, Isma just tossed me this knife and asked me to, you know, take it. <laughs> it's like I'm talking to a monkey. Oh, no. I've never liked your spinach puffs. <gasps> oh. That's it. She's going down. <laughs> oh, boy. Strange. That usually works. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> which one, which one? They murdered the emperor. <laughs> no, wait, I'm the emperor. <laughs> Can I go home? You're excused. Get them! <laughs> Gotta change you back. Yeah! Uh -oh. <laughs> We're not getting 
anywhere with you picking the vials. Don't you say a word. Ah! Yay, I'm a llama again! Wait. Come on, man! Nobody lives forever! Yeah! <laughs> it's gotta be one of these. this. Is that my voice? If I turn back into my beautiful self, I'm going to kill you! She actually looks better as, <laughs> as a, a cat. Yeah. <laughs> uh oh. Who's <laughs> ah! ah! <laughs> go? Be right there, give me a minute. Did not order a giant trampoline. You know, pal, you got. <laughs> oh, gosh. I win. <laughs> what are the odds that trapdoor laid me out here? Uh. <clears throat> you stop being so hard. In yourself. Not the first time I was tossed out a window, and it won't be the last. So, you lied to me. You said when the sun hits this ridge just right, these hills sing. And I did not hear any singing. I'll be building my summer home on a more magical hill. <laughs> Thank you. Looks like you and your family are stuck on the tuneless hilltop forever, pal. I'm pretty sure I heard some singing on the hill next to us. Boom, baby! Boom, baby! And see that a pivot will begin. Squeak, squeak, and squeak, squeak. Did you eat the acorn? Squeak, squeaking. I'm so proud of you guys. Just finished watching The Emperor's New Groove. I love the humor of this movie. It's very much my style humor. With Krunk always misunderstanding things that Yzma was saying. Yzma's trying to be serious all the time, and him being just this silly, aloof, so well-meaning and doesn't want to hurt anybody really. I love Pacha, I think that he's fantastic. He's just this humble dude. Then of course the emperor and the whole story being a lesson in humility really, overcoming his extreme narcissism. So I really enjoy this one. Jen, what did you think? I love this movie. I thought that the overall message was really great. We have the emperor who is really self-involved, completely oblivious to other people's feelings. And then on the other end of the spectrum, we have Pacha who, no matter how he ends up being treated by the emperor, he still has that viewpoint of everybody has good in themselves and you do too. Despite what was going on and his frustration and anger, still did the right thing. I love those types of people. But I have to say my favorite character in this entire film was Kronk. He was fantastic. He really like was not a bad dude at heart, just kind of what Holden said. Most of the time he was just completely aloof. I love how he was like a boy scout, like being in the middle of the forest with like his PJs and his little like stuffed teddy bear. Big kid. And so I loved Krunk. I thought that he was fantastic. But like I said, I love the overall message of this movie. That's probably my favorite thing about it. Uh, There's a lot of good humor in it too. David Spade, he's pretty funny. Completely different than uh, what I was expecting. Also very different for like a Disney movie. I don't think we've seen anything quite like this. I would definitely watch it again. Love the characters. Is that a follow up film? No, it's a show. It's an animated show. Oh, okay. What would you rate this one? Um, I think I would rate this one. I'm going to give it an 8.5. Yeah, you're pretty much right where my rating is, an 8.5 as well. It's very short. It's one of the shorter movies that I think we've ever done, like an hour and 12 minutes before credits. Really fun time. I definitely would watch this one again. Humor is right up my alley. Love all the characters. There's so many quotable moments in this one too. Wrong lever! I hear it to this day, just videos and stuff that I see on my feed. Uh, so that's what I, I would rate about an 8.5 too. But of course, these are just some of our thoughts. We'd love to know what you guys think down in the comments below. So leave us a comment down below. We'll check those out. If you enjoyed this video, leave it a like. It helps the channel out a lot. Subscribe. You'll be notified when we post the next video. Check out Patreon. You can watch videos like this early before anyone else, ad-free until I post them. And you can watch the full-length reaction with us over there too. But for now, that is it. Jen and I appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next video, everyone. Take care.